Hello friends, this is Brain from GameBrain.media. Visit my website for a link to my YouTube uh, channel where you will find a gallery of videos on my website or a list of playlists at YouTube. I have 14 videos out there for spin tires already. I think 10 videos out there for Mudrunner, but only one spin tire or Snowrunner. So I find that interesting. Um, I think because I was just playing multiplayer with my buddy, um, Soul Piper more than I was streaming uh, SnowRunner, but we'll talk a little bit about all the differences in the three games. And uh, one of the most important things, I'm gonna have to go ahead and exit this SnowRunner instance and load it as we play. And yeah, I'm I'm gonna be doinking around in Steam changing games between one and the other and oh no i haven't run spin tires on this machine <laughs> well i'm ill prepared apparently uh, it's loading uh, microsoft visual c and whoop, whoop, we might we might have a go we might have a go spin tires the original game all right, now, sadly, this game is no longer available on Steam. I don't know why. Um, I thought that they had just retired it, and then they brought it back as a remastered version, but it appears not to be available for purchase on Steam. However, if you have spin tires on Steam already, then the workshop is available to you, which means you can uh, subscribe to custom trucks, and they will work and they will get updated if there are any updates by the creator to the truck. But really, guess what? There's not. Spin Tires is pretty much a dead, a dead thing. I mean, people play it, clearly. Um, you could probably find it on some of the other websites like GOG, Good Old Games, or Green Man Gaming, or who knows. Um, you might want to check out a website called IsThereAnyDeal.com. Is there any deal.com? I'm not an affiliate. The only way I make a buck is if you go to my website and you hit that PayPal button and you help me buy a new video card or you help me buy new games. That's it. Um, hopefully you will enjoy my content. Hopefully you will spend hours listening to me drone on about video games because, hey, that's what I do. <laughs> anyway, Spin Tires um, caught my attention because it was a four-wheel drive game that had mods. And the mods include custom maps made by the user community and custom trucks made by again the user community you can get jeeps you can get full-size pickups you can get 10 wheelers and you know play the logging game as it was intended but all i wanted to do was freaking find a mountain a jeep and go climb it yeah there's a winch and uh it's stupidly fun and I'm going to try to remember how to play, because honestly, I don't want to be at the Proving Ground. Choose your map. Aw, oh, shit, dude. Um, I, I don't think I have anything installed on this machine. Oh, man. Well, talk about being ill-prepared for the stream, right? So let's go to, um, let's just click play. Oh, I lied. There, there are some maps here. Eh, shit. The only level I have installed is Evans Creek. Really? And is, is that even just a stock map? I don't remember. Well, crap. Um, I do have some custom rigs. And one of the favorites I'm going to bust out is going to be the Brinkle Samurai. Um, <laughs> I do not remember subscribing to that one, but let's throw it in there and see what the hell. <laughs> looks like fun. Um, Fishy Willies looks pretty fun. Let's see. I'm going to probably gravitate towards the Suzuki's or the Jeeps. A couple of my favorite rigs in the game. Oh, Krebs. Yeah, Krebs. 1981 Yoda is one of the best trucks in the game, period, over and out. 
End of story. Oh, shit! I'm sorry. I had an errant click there. But let's get down here to the bottom of the map and work our way upward. So I saw that guy right there. That Sid 1987 Jeep is badass. And guess what? We're not going to bust out all these rigs. I'm just picking a bunch of rigs. Um, but I am giving you... Oh my god, there's a quad! Or there's a, a tricycle here. A quad. The predecessor to the uh, quad is, is the three-wheeler. Um, shit, I can't pass that up, dude. I mean, pff, come on. What do you expect me to do? Now, how many of these things are actually going to load successfully in the game? I'm leaning towards a crash. Um, Alright, so we got the Yoda. The power trucks, jeeps, were pretty goddamn good back in the day that I remember. And, and then here's a little samurai. Alright, I think that's enough. Um, here, I'm going to get rid of Bam. Bam, and bam, no truck. Evans Creek, honestly, I don't even remember this map, but we're going to jump in and, and we're going to have a look around and see if the game even runs. Oh my god, it does! Yay, look at this! It's giving us all the help. How to play, use the mini-map, F1, to see where your garages and fuel station, lumber station, objectives, and other trucks are. Remove the mini-map cloaking by driving next to them. Unlock other trucks by driving next to them. Alright, so we're going to use WSAD to control the truck. When diff lock is on... Alright, so that's going to be... Parking brake is the space key. And then, uh, what is it? Q and W? No. E is all-wheel drive. How do I engage uh, diff lock? Q when diff lock is on. There we go. And by default is E. So Q and E always get turned on when you start. I am in first gear. Um, let's see. What did it tell us about? Well, dragging the gearbox after clicking the gear stick or pressing R. Press right mouse to force acceleration. Um, by pressing V or clicking advanced. Man, it's been a long time since I played. Alright, so V is advanced. Okay, well, we're going to jump in and, and see what we can do. We're sitting here, and I don't know why in the hell. We're out here in the boonies. Uh, let's see, if I go to F and rescue to the garage. It must be because I tried the game, or I was last playing the game, and ended up there. Um, the truck is automatically refueled at the fuel station. You can also add add-ons. You can skip time with this control. Your truck loses fuel. Use compass to navigate and stuff. Game trucks. It's only showing me that there's one truck. So none of those other trucks? Oh! Alright. Well, alright, so we're going to go back to the main menu. I'm guessing that I must have continued, uh, I must have pressed continue. Let's see. Yeah. I hit continue instead of start a new game, so it didn't choose any of my, my trucks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Choose the damn trucks. Oh, I used to have that the exact same mustard color freaking Suburban. A 1972 Suburban. Mustard color with a white roof. I had that truck. It's a three-door. Is this a four-door or a three-door? Let's wait for it to spin. There it is, three-door. <laughs> I had to get on the other side. I'd go to the passenger side and let my dog in the back every time. Oh, that was so frustrating. But All right. We're just going to keep clicking down and grabbing... Grabbing trucks, like we did before. We're going to try the John Connor. And I'm going to try to... I'm just going to go ahead and stack the Connor next to the uh, three-wheeler, because those are weirdos. Then I'm going to go down and get the uh, the Yoda. Krebs Yoda, one of my favorite trucks in the g entire series of the games. And now, let's see, we had the Fishy Willies, then we had, 
What else did we have? We had this black samurai. Um, I think that's all that we had. So now I'm going to do start a new game and it's going to load. Yeah, current game progress will be lost. I don't care, I'm not logging. I'm just freewheeling. And uh, I'm going to have to spend a little time remembering what the hell and how do I choose stuff. Alright, so that little Suzuki is awesome. Alright, let's see, I said Q and E. Okay, so the diff lock is grayed out, therefore it's always in diff lock. Alright, press help in the game menu. Press escape. Help. Alright, and then it turns all this crap on. Alright. Turn off the parking brake, and we are motoring, baby! Now, mouse wheel controls your zoom. Um, hold the right mouse button to reorient your camera. Thought there was uh, more camera controls. All right, so that's uh, low one, low two. Whoops. And low three. Cranny gear. Okay, and then here is. Oops. I think I threw it in reverse. So now I'm in auto. Gear two. Gear four. Forward. There we go. Now that, all right. So now that I've got a little distance from the rig, I can dick around with the camera a little better. All right. So, yeah, camera controls are pretty wonky, but holy shit! You know what? I didn't even look at. Uh, let's see. Can we get to settings? Yes, we can. It is set at 1920 by 1080. Um, I'm not in the windowed mode. Show HUD. Yabba dabba doos. Everything is clicked. Indestructible filtering is four. Let's go up to 16. I'm sure my PC can handle it. Um, highest. High, high, high. Um, let's see. Is there... Is there, um, you know, V-Sync to turn off? Because I'm locked at 60 right now, it looks like. There you go. Limit to 60, and I'm going to say no. Okay. So I'm not limiting to 60. I did crank up the uh, anti-strophic filtering. Let's go ahead and... Not the parking brake. Let's see, I don't want to get too advanced. Change truck, open the hood, stop the engine. Ooh, open the hood. Oh, why would I do that? <laughs> that was hilarious. Let's go ahead and do that again. I've never seen that option before. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like we're, uh, you know, bleeding any coolant or anything, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and close the hood. Stop the engine instead of burning gas. Turn off the parking brake. Oh, well, I guess when I'm parked, I can't do anything other than parking brake's going to remain on. All right, so I'm going to go back to the settings because I'm really f flustered. It's limit to 60. How come I'm not going up? Let me jack this down to 8. Click Apply. Settings. Geometry Deformation. Well, I'm on the highest settings I can get. And honestly, for a game as old as this is, it looks freaking fantastic, I've got to tell you. And start the engine. Get out of uh, advanced mode. Hammer the gas, baby. This Breggles, um, 
makes an appearance in uh, Bregel's Suzuki. Makes an appearance in, uh, I think it's Mudrunner, but it might be Snowrunner. I think it's Mudrunner. And it's ridiculous and fun uh, because it's not lifted. It is like bone stock. It looks so unassuming. Um, I had forgotten that it existed in spin tires, but uh, you know what? I'm going to say screw the road. And we're going to go this way. Now, this is some fast moving water, so. Let's see, I'm in all wheel drive. Why am I not getting anywhere? Maybe I need to downshift. Okay, so apparently I have a uh, reverse one, two, and three. All right, so now I'm in low three. I'm gonna stay above this rock line and hope the current doesn't take me away. Oh shit! Trail picks up a little, little bit downstream here, and I'm kind of worried on how I'm going to get there without, like, kind of getting washed away. Okay, I'm throwing an automatic, so I can back up. Easier. Trust the current to push us downstream. And then we might be changing gears to get get up this hill. Woof! Made it! Well, we made it out of the river anyway. Huh. Look at that. I don't seem to have diff lock. I only got one wheel spinning. Now there's two. But it says I'm an all-wheel drive. Oh, that's high. Actually, I didn't see that it indicate. Oh, now I'm in diff lock. Oh shit. Okay, so diff lock works if you're uh, in the low gears. Sweet. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to get up this hill, because it looks pretty ferocious. So, let's see, I'm going to have to throw in reverse. Oh, yeah. You have to push forward on the gas to go, to go backward, because, yeah, it's a stick shift. It, but on the, on the keyboard, it, it really feels weird and doesn't make any sense to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. And we're probably going to have to throw a winch here, baby. Even though I'm in diff lock, all-wheel drive. Let's see. Okay, now we're going to try going the other way. Yes, I know we're off to a rip-roaring start. But hey, that's the nature of four-wheeling games. Um, actually, one of one of four-wheeling games I really liked was called Off-Road Drive, made by a Russian developer who basically just quit. After that one game, I don't know what happened to him, honestly. But it was so frustrating because the game was freaking fantastic. However, it was closed course, and it, instead of open world, and it, it just could have had, it had so much potential. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try to downshift. Come on. God, I wish I was in my, my race rig and I could just manually downshift and use a steering wheel and gas pedals. But, oh well. Alright, so I'm gonna stop here, put on the parking brake, go to advanced, grab the winch, and we're gonna yank ourselves up this hill. Okay? So, get out of advanced, turn the parking brake off, and winch myself up. So I'm pressing the F key to draw in the winch. <coughs> Excuse me. And we made it, baby. All right, I gotta put on the parking brake. Click, go to advance, disconnect, turn off the parking brake. Motor on! So, for me, that was fun. It was a challenge. Alright, now, ah, I'm in, uh, I'm not in automatic, so I have to go to automatic so I can throw it in reverse. Basically, I'm high sided on a stump already. See that? So, I gotta back up. Well, this is not what I was hoping for. Obviously, but all four wheels are turning. I am just freaking stuck. So you can see the two rear wheels turning right here in this shot. I can see that front wheel turning, and then here I can see both front wheels turning. Okay, so I'm screwed gonna have to go ahead and hit the uh, advanced mode and grab I don't know um yeah grab grab something grab a tree and start dragging my front axle off Okay, so I'm off it now, and now it's it's pretty wonky to get this camera to do what you want it to do, because I'd really like to look at this from a specific angle. And there I am. Okay, so now I'm going to cut that loose, and you can see the tension of that, uh, that winch be released, and now, let me go ahead, okay, I'm in reverse, oh shit. Oh no, I'm gonna roll it. Shit, I thought I was gonna roll it. Oh, I don't wanna get hung up in that next stump. Just gonna go down the hill backwards. It's like driving a forklift, sometimes that's the best way to go. Yep, the, uh, the camera is... Can, like if you're not if you're playing it's not nauseating but if you're watching sometimes it can be kind of uh, disorienting you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying okay so now get around that tree that's in our way there we go Now, I want to pick my way through here. Um, 
So I think I'm going to go into automatic. See if we can deal with things in automatic. get diff lock if I'm in uh, if I'm an automatic I'll tell you what having a G27 steering wheel brake pedal gas clutch and a stick is so much more fun to play this game with but right now I'm playing keyboard and mouse because that's what I got Well, I mean, I do have those other things, but they're just not in a room that's uh, got a comfortable temperature if they're in the garage. Yeah. All right, so let's see. We need to get the hell out of here. So in order to get the hell out of here, we're going to have to shift. It's so frustrating. I just wish you could shift with the keyboard. Press, you know, press, press a number. Ah, look at that. That was three. So there's a couple of different camera angles. Ah, okay. One, three, and four. All right, so we're going to have to shift into reverse. happened. There we go. I guess I clicked on the other, um, the side screen. Okay, now I'm going to keep shifting. Now at least we're pointed forward. We're in low gear, so we got diff locks. We got all-wheel drive, and we're getting nowhere. Okay, so getting frustrated, and just gonna go ahead and throw a winch. Um, let's see. From here, shucks, to there, and then turn advanced off. Hit the gas and press F. All right, so at least we got back on a trail. <laughs> Let's see how we could do on this. And like I said, we got different uh, ways to look at the trail. You can drive from the cockpit. It also has uh, zoom features while you're doing that. You can drive from the third person or um, like quarter, quarter, quarter view is with the four key. And then the one key, yeah, it's just free camera. I can't believe this hill is steep enough that it's given us this much trouble because it just doesn't look like it, does it? And I'm in three low and all four tires are spinning, but I ain't getting nowhere. So we're going to winch. It's sad but true.
Okay, so I disconnected the winch. I'm gonna rely on some momentum. Try to keep keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. All right, so I think you've had a bit of a taste for spin tires. It honestly, it looks spectacular to me. Even though the game is so freaking old, I love it. It looks great. There's a lot of custom trucks. There's a lot of custom maps. Even though I don't have any installed on this machine, I just fired it up and realized, oh, oh not many maps. Uh, but a lot of the maps pre-exist and, and will stay on Steam Workshop. It looks like they're going to keep supporting this, but ah, shit. If you don't have it on Steam already, you're probably going to be screwed. You might be able to get a Steam code from, you know, like CD keys or is there any deal in one of the other, you know, gaming sites, Humble Bundle, something like that. But, uh... Oh. Oh, okay, so I, apparently I accidentally turned off... Um... Diff locks. And I'm crawling over a stump. Hope that doesn't get hung up. Alright, and honestly... This looks like I'm falling off into a giant puddle. I do see, I hear all those rocks breaking, or sticks breaking. Dangerous water level. Yeah! I was afraid I was going to roll it. Yep, that's it. I'm done. Now I can go get another vehicle and come back. Look at that. You can see me underwater. That is so cool. Isn't that freaking awesome? So I might come back here and try to rescue this truck, but, you know, for this stream, I just really wanted to breeze through all four games pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, what is it, F1, get the map, and I'm going to go to the Samurai. And, you know what, I'm going to try the Thruly there. Yeah, <laughs> did you see that guy's arms rubber banding? That's hilarious. All right, so that's not going to be any fun. I had to try it though. I've never tried it before, but uh, it's a thing. Oh, now let's see. If I hit F1 again and I go to um, Connor, that would be John Connor. And let's see. Markers installed. Okay, so we got some stuff. See if we can climb that pile of wood. Unbelievable. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Okay, it does have reverse. track, this would be, this would be a doable thing. Or, I mean, it's an appropriate map, track, trail, whatever. I'm just not, you know, riding it per this vehicle's limitations. So... Little XR80. I think they were using CR-80 sound effects in the movie Terminator, but it was an XR-80, or vice versa. They were using four-stroke... No, I think they were using... Okay, 
it clearly wasn't designed to be a motorcycle game, but I'm glad somebody did it. I'm glad somebody tried it and put this in there. Okay. I've had enough of that. So now I'm going to go grab the, um... Oh. No, I don't want to, I don't want to go out on this. Um... We have to do some wheeling in the Yoda. It is the best uh, truck in this game. Krebs 1981 Yoda Crawler. It's the most boring engine sound. But... It's awesome. I don't know why, but this truck just goes places that others don't. And it looks good doing it. Blowing black smoke out the front. <laughs> it's a little Toyota diesel, can you believe it? God damn, it'd be cool to have a uh, little diesel engine that you're only pushing 2,500 pounds, maybe, at the most. I'm really curious what those things weigh. Maybe 3,000 pounds. I don't know. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Bam! We fueled up 20 liters. Now we're gonna go to F1 and look at the map. And we're gonna look at the um, Bregel Samurai. That's where we crashed. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and set waypoints to drive our asses over there. And then rescue him. Rescue myself. Okay. So here's the path. Just like we left out of the garage. Came over this way. I'm going to have to look the map, because what's going on here? Um, oh, shit! Accidental click on the wrong screen. Get back in the game. Okay, so I see where I'm at. So, I can go up to, uh, yeah, that clearing. That I took with the samurai. Oh, it's drawing it's drawing a circle around my my waypoint. But look at this. This thing just almost went right up it without uh, without the winching required by that other little truck. So let's see, is it the same thing where I'm only going to have all-wheel? Yes, I only have diff locks when I'm in low. But low three got me right up here. No winching. Regals, I had to, I had to winch. Alright, so here's my next waypoint. There's that stump we got hung up on. Okay, it's a much different looking, uh, what do you call it? Cockpit view, first person view, than we had before. Oh man, I really wish I was sitting in my freaking my race car. Steering wheel, bucket seat, play seat. But I'm going to gamble. We're going to be able to go rescue ourselves. I'm going to grab the winch. I'm going to pull that Suzuki right out of the water. Look at this thing. Just 
torque, man. All four wheels just keep on rolling, keep on spinning. Get us up that hill. Pretty cool, huh? First person view is kind of like leaning out the window. That's kind of odd. Okay, now we're gonna have to look at the map. And yeah, I kind of thought we were we were there. So we have to turn down river or downstream. And uh, we will see our truck in the water. Dance around these stumps. Okay, and now I can't see our submerged vehicle. But I'm gonna hit advanced. Grab that. Oh, it's not there. We can't get to it, man. Alright, so there it is. I can see it now. See it? It's right here where my mouse is. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to hit advanced. Oh, look at that! Throw in reverse. Oh, oh, oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My camera's all wonky. Let me suck through the cameras. Alright. Uh, let's see. Left, right, auto. Winch truck. Steer auto. And now I got two trucks stuck. Maybe? Maybe this one? Uh, I got the Toyota to restart. Alright, let's look at our situation. Ooh, man. We're in a tight spot. And if we keep going forward, we're going to be in the same spot as the Suzuki. So, oh shit! Okay, so I'm going to throw it in gear. Try to back up. And head over towards the left. Don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Okay, I can't see. I should have thrown my winch first. Oh, it almost started. It does start. It just won't stay started. <laughs> Well, uh, now I've got me two trucks underwater at the same spot, trying to rescue each other. What, fifty, sixty thousand dollars under underwater? Look at them, gravestones. 
Let's see. What if I did... Oh, I don't want to change truck. Oh. <laughs> Water damage is truck. It fired up! Not for long. Yeah, that ain't happening. Alright. Well, you got an idea what uh, spin tires is like. And it did change time of day. Our headlights came on because it got dark. Uh, my Toyota is stuck. Trying to rescue my Suzuki. Which is submerged. There it is. You can see it right there. See that front wheel? And then the rear row cage. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm telling you, spin tires are stupidly fun. Um, and if you can find it somewhere, I highly recommend buying it. I think I got the game dirt cheap. Like under twenty hours or twenty dollars and I've played under twenty dollars and I have played how much have I played? Let's go ahead and look at the uh, oh crap. That's weird. My test bar got really supersized. Um I've played hundred and four hours of spin tires. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and close out of that. Since I don't have a lot of maps installed. Um, and we're going to jump into Mudrunner. So hold tight. Now, honestly, I'm pretty sure I've run a lot of Mudrunner on this machine. I'm not absolutely certain, though. I'm curious how the streaming software is going to feel about changing between different games. So... I'm going to bounce around between the screens. Okay, Mudrunner's loading. This might take a second, so I'm going to run and get a beer while it's loading. BRB. Says, Sorry, Mudrunner crashed. Pre please relaunch the game. I did hear the start screen. So let's go with um, that as a holding screen, and then we will click play. Preparing to launch Mudrunner. And I might have to stop and restart the streaming software, but I hope not. Oh, damn it. Oh, I've got reshade running. Yeah, this might, this might not work. It's trying to load um, 31 special effects that I have from reshade. If you hit my YouTube channel and you go with, um, oh, what's it called? Mudrunner Tips for Noobs, N O O B S, or just search for Game Brain Mudrunner Reshade, and you will find my video about when I like totally changed the look and feel of the game because I was using Reshade. Now I'm thinking that uh, that's probably going to be a problem. Dagnabbit. Okay, so all you're seeing is a black screen, and I am seeing the application might become unresponsive as updates are applied. It's loading 31 special effects. This might take a while. And apparently it's not going to work. But can't get it to close either without doing control alt delete. Task manager. 
Yeah, you guys know the drill. Alrighty then. I can't get Task Manager to come to the front. I think the game's trying really hard to load. Oh, I just can't. Well, come on. Ah, there you go. Like, right click, close window. Let's hope that it's going to be a fix. If not, um, well, then I'm going to have to restart. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. I might have to do a whole um, hard, hard reboot. What the hell? That's so sad. Dude, come on. So frustrating. All right, well, close window doesn't work. Task manager doesn't work. So I'm going to, um, have to force close something somehow, and it's probably going to be the Gamecaster. <laughs>